In today's episode of the Hexagon Challenge, it is our fifth Copa Libertadores game. We are taking on Emelec from Ecuador at home. A point is enough for us to go through to the next stage. Also, soon as a bit of a sock, let's get into today's episode. everyone welcome back to the hexagon challenge here on sean does fm i hope you are doing well if you are new to the channel then do make sure to hit that subscribe button turn on that notification bell as well if you want to keep up to date with the hexagon challenge and like today's video if you enjoy it all of that good youtube stuff we are going to start today's episode looking at jean carlos Serna, who just keeps on wanting holidays he needs one of those brock lesnar shirts where he's eat sleep play one game, take a holiday, repeat. That seems to be what he's up to at the moment because after yesterday's game against River Plate, which if you did not see, please go back and check out, he went on another holiday and he's not coming back until the 1st of May. He was away for about two weeks before that, so he would have played one game in the last month when he gets back, for us anyway. He did play for Colombia at some stage in that time, but I think we're just going to let it be on Confident enough that we can get a result against either Emelec or Municipal in the Copa Libertadores while he's away. We're in a decent league position. I think we're just going to let this holiday play out this time, not call him back early. And hopefully he will actually be back for the rest of the season. But yeah, he's a really starting to frustrate me sooner, but he's a very good player. He's, you know, he's already kept for Columbia, so we've got to look after him. But yeah, it'd be nice if he could play more football. Since you were last here, now we were supposed to have two league games, but the game against Patriotos was postponed due to a waterlogged pitch. That's the first time that's happened to me in the save. Even my amateur New Zealand days, we didn't get any waterlogged pitches. So top division of Colombia producing everything. Just the one game against Milanarios. And we picked up a 2-1 win away from home. A early... Well, a mid-first half double to Mosquera was the difference here. A lovely pass from Andrade there to put him in a good finish into the left-hand side of the goal at 25 minutes. And then off a long throw, Gutierrez will head this on to Montoya, who hit a shot that looked like Mosquera got on the end of and controlled it nicely to put it in the bottom right corner. That was 2-0 in the 33rd minute. Milanarios did get a goal from a corner, which is a little bit disappointing. Obviously, Cerna was missing. I still would have thought that Angel and Ortiz would have been able to deal with that. Still two pretty good centre backs, but they got that back. However, we were able to cling on to that 2 1 win. Mosquera, clearly player of the game. Oscar is struggling for form a little bit, and for a player, as we said in the last episode, who's having $25 million offers come in for him, yeah, I'd want his form to improve pretty quickly because. We could do some damage with 25 million. That's double what our expected transfer budget is for next season. So, yeah, I don't know about Oscar. He's good, but, mm, yeah, maybe maybe we should look to move him on if his form keeps up because he's not doing a lot at the moment. So, competition-wise, we've now got another game in hand, but we're at one point clear at the top of the league table. Our league form now is starting to get a little bit better than it was before the last episode. And the Copper Libertadores is in the same position as it was. Just a point here and River Plate will be unable to catch us a win. And we are guaranteed to finish top of the table. Which to be fair even a point should see that happen with the goal difference. So we will get into the pre-match when I see you guys next for this game against Emelec from Ecuador. Okay, so we're at the pre-match here. We're pretty much full strength now. Boyer is back from injury, but the only player missing, of course, Serna and Angel comes in for him. Here is Emelec. They're playing a 4-4-2. My assistant manager's told me it's almost like a 4-4-1-1 with the second striker almost going to like a shadow striker role. There's that points table, though. We did beat this team 6-0 away from home, so I am expecting us to get a good result here, especially with a team that is probably the freshest it's been in a long time, an 11 day gap since that last game, thanks to the postponement of the league game in between so hopefully we can do well here and wrap up our qualification for the next stage, and we've played good areas for early, oh what a start I didn't even get a chance to tell you guys the colours, but I'm pretty sure you guys are sure now 
Gutierrez after 20 seconds is played in by Pulaza and we are 1-0 up. What a start. Oscar plays this across to Boyer. He puts it through to Pulaza. Lovely loft over it in behind the defence. And Gutierrez gets his goal scoring touch back. 1-0, 20 seconds into the game. What a start from us. So yes, we are playing left to right and it is Emelik in the blue. But oh, they've given Gutierrez the ball again here and he can play... Well, I thought he could play someone in there. It's a tackle. It isn't going to be a penalty. That one isn't either on Oscar. Interesting start. It's all action after a minute. As Ortiz will get the ball for Emelik. He tries to clear it. And wow. Such a good start from us here. And the, although Emelik do look to build now. And Zapata for them. They play... Guerrero through, but Lara's forced into a good save. It's all action. Ball's going in behind the defence, and the striker's very onto it early. But Emelik will have a corner two minutes in. It is cleared away, and Gutierrez is going to get on the end of this. He has pace. Can he get past his man? He does. That's a pretty cynical tackle from Karadabali. No card, though. And it's 1-0 after three minutes, but we now have a throw-in, which Fuentes will take. The goalkeeper Ortiz comes out and collects that pretty comfortably, albeit with a bit of a dive. And Guerrero will head that back to Savalos here for Emelik. Can we hold this one goal lead? As I said, a game that I would expect to win, but after we've got that early goal, it looks like they're coming out quite strong. Gutierrez nearly getting on the end of the back pass there, but sliding tackle from the Emelik defence has kept possession for them. Now Carabelli looking to find Guerrero. It's cleared. Out to Perlaza, and maybe we can get them on the counter here. Gutierrez going down the left wing into Oscar. Can he find some form? No, straight at the goalkeeper. A great chance, but nothing coming from it. 1 0 after seven minutes. I was about to say time to catch breath, but we've got another throw in. Fuentes straight to Suki, I think that was, for the Emelik defence. And now Boyer has it as we regained possession. Fuentes, Perlaza. He finds or tries to find Julian. It's headed back to Ortiz from Dela Cruz. And once again, something might be coming from this as they try and pump it long, Emelik. Ortiz heads it clear, but only as far as Zapata. And they will have a chance to get us here. Rodriguez, Zapata, Dela Cruz. Plays it midfield to Quiroz. Tries to find Julio, but it's cut out by Arroyo and now Oscar. A player who I would like to see improve his form from recent performances. Plays it over for Gutierrez. He was offside and the shot hit the post. So it remains 1-0 after 10 minutes. And we still can't catch our breath. We've got another highlight. It's a throw in that Fuentes gives straight to Julio. Cleared out to Ortiz. Boyer. Bit of 1-2 between them. Fuentes. Boyer. Pulaza. Gutierrez tries to find Oscar. It's back to Gutierrez though. They play a 1-2. Oscar probably could have had the shot, but it's straight at the keeper, and it's still 1-0 after 12 minutes this time. Throw in after 17 minutes. That time we got to catch our breath, because that first 12 minutes was all action. Now, Julan off the throw in. I was going to say he was doing a bit of good work there, but he's given Emelik the ball straight back, although Perez cuts it straight out yet again. Pulaza up to Gutierrez, that combination that created the first goal. Duran, he'll have a shot. Oh, he could have played that through to Gutierrez, I thought, a bit earlier. Ended up taking on himself, but the shot goes across the face of goal, and it remains 1-0 coming up to 20 minutes. But we have a corner, and Julian will take it. It is headed by Anne Hall. It's hit the post. Ortiz now putting one in for Gutierrez, and that time we're going to get it. A bit unlucky from the corner. Anne Hall hitting the post, I believe, and Ortiz putting that one back in for Gutierrez, and he's got an early double, and we're looking very good here. You can see that Anne Hale shot off the top crossbar. Had beaten the keeper. Ortiz, though, ties things up. Gutierrez running back and getting the header into that top left corner. A good finish. And 2 0 after 20 minutes. We're looking good to qualify top of the group with a game to go. Throw in for Emma Lick after 22 minutes. They keep position, albeit just inside the field of play. Rodriguez playing that back to Quiroz. I thought we might cut that one out, but Boyer's cut out the subsequent pass. And now Gutierrez is off. Down the right, you can play Oscar in here if he wants, but he's hit the shot himself, and it's hit the side netting. It remains 2-0, coming up to 25 minutes. Free kick, Jerome will take, hit the wall, and 
We will have a throw in, which Fuentes will take. He finds Gutierrez. Can we make it 3-0 early in the first half? Oloyo looking to squeeze up for Palaza. He's a, here's a shot. Oh, what a finish. Johnny Palaza. He's having a wonderful game today. Set up the first goal with an assist. And now he's buried that off in Oloyo. Assist from outside the box. Top left corner. And we are absolutely cruising. This is a lot more like it from a team that you'd have to consider to be close to our A team. Only soon are missing. First time strike in top left corner. Pick that out, goalkeeper. Top bins. Wonderful strike from our young midfielder. 3-0 after 27 minutes. Throw in to Emelec at the 38 minute mark. Guerrero just able to keep possession there for Emelec. And now Shunka plays it over to Quirloz on a yellow card. Julio should be able to find that player on the right. But it is going to be Carabali getting it after the pass back. Oloyo tries to shut him down. Julio with a cross. Guerrero with a shot. It did nearly sneak in the net there, but just to the left-hand side of the post. That's another highlight now as we approach 40 minutes. And how tidying the ball up from a clearance from Emelec. Pulaza now with it. Him and Fuentes playing a bit of 1-2. Now about 5-6, but now it's up to Gutierrez. Oloyo over to Oscar just on the edge of the box. Finds Boyer Hill of a first time strike. Oh, there's some great goals from outside the box from our midfielders today. Hector Boyer from an Oscar assist. About time he did something. First time volley and bump for bottom right corner. Boyer, midfielders are in form today. A good goal in his first game back in the team. Near top of the semicircle. Bottom right corner goalkeeper. No chance. We are flying here. 4 0 after 40. Now it's a corner, not long after that, Julan to put this in. It was cleared away by Dela Cruz, but only out to Perlaza. And now we find Julan, Gutierrez. Oh, that was too easy. Across from Julan, Gutierrez, pretty much half a metre in front of the goalkeeper who didn't come out to claim it. 5-0 coming up to half time. And Gutierrez, of course, I believe that's his hat trick. I'm pretty sure it is. Yeah, a goal to... Boyer and Pulaza, it's a simple finish. Just curving that away from the goalkeeper who was with that ball from Durant and where his defence was left with no chance. And what a half a football. Quickly state that this is probably our best half of football so far this season. Albeit against a team who we did fresh in the first game in the stage of the, uh, sorry, in the Copa Libertadores. And now Durant's being played in and Oscar... Gets another assist, and it's 6-0 coming into halftime. It was 6-0 last game. We are thumping these guys. And I think we can say that we're going to be going through the second round. Some nice play. Goody areas to Oscar. Duran's just able to run into the box and buries that top left corner. Everyone having a good game today. 6-0 coming into halftime. And you can see in the other game, River Plate are up 1-0. That's probably of more interest in this game now, to be fair. What a half of football, though. 14 shots, 10 on target, 6 goals. An absolute spanking this is at the moment. And we've got to tell the boys that we're delighted with that, I think. And we're going to leave things the way they are. We do have some league games coming up pretty quick for, I think, that postponement after this. So as soon as players do get on yellow hearts, we might be taking them off, given the nature of the scoreline here. But that is the best first half I think I've seen in the series, let alone the season, 6-0 as we start the second half. Throw in to Emelec after 53 minutes. Guerrero plays that over for Quirloz. Carabali. They'll be looking to restore some pride now because it looks like they're going to be finishing bottom of the group after this result. Rodriguez up to Guerrero. Carabali. Oh, it's a lovely ball for Guerrero and they will get one back. A pretty poor start from us. We haven't done much up until that highlight and it is an Emelec goal, the first time I've conceded since the River Plate game in the Copa Libertadores, so I suppose it's only two games. Nice ball from Carabali though, and Guerrero is able to just get him behind our defence there. Lara can't quite get out in time, and it is now 6-1. No need to hit the panic stations just yet, but a little bit disappointing. And it looks like it's another Emelec highlight 56 minutes into the game as they play out from the back through Torres and Shunka up to Curlos. A long ball out to Zapata on the left-hand side. Now Rodriguez 
may play a bit of one too. Hopefully we can nip this in the bud, because as much as I enjoyed that first half, I don't want to get sloppy in the second. Although we do cut that out through Perez and play it back to Lara and Angel. Can we get an instant reply? Not that it's overly needed, but we'll play it up to Duran. He cuts inside from his right wing, and he's going to play one for Oscar. Somewhat assisted, but the ball falls to Gutierrez. He's going to get the assist there, Oscar. Definitely didn't mean to get an assist, but Gutierrez gets his fourth of the game. He's going to get a 10 rating. Surely he's on 9.9 now. Lovely run from Drulam from his wing. Plays the ball in behind for Oscar. The defender tries to cut it out. Only helps tap it on for Oscar. The shot's saved, but parried out to Gutierrez. He tucks it away, bottom right corner. And it's 7-1. Not quite a rugby score. I don't think you can get... Well, you definitely can't get one point in rugby. Hopefully we don't let them get three points anyway. 62 minutes gone. 7-1. And we now have a corner. Julan to put it in. Oscar gets his head to it. Ortiz in a nice spot. Fuentes is a shot block. Pilaza back out to Duran. He puts a cross in for Ortiz. He squares up for Gutierrez, but his shot over the bar looking for five. Very good stuff from us here, and we will take the chance to make some changes and get rid of these notifications. Ortiz is our main centre back, so maybe we will make the, take the opportunity to take him off for Molio. In terms of the next most important players, Pulaza definitely will bring Budi Chlago on for him. And I think we'll take Duran off with Oscar has been struggling for form, so I think while he's in form, we're going to let him get a full game. And I think those will be our free changes. Hopefully no injuries after this. And we'll see how we get on for the rest of the game. 7-1 with 25 to go. Throw in after 77 minutes to Atletico Nacional. We have the ball Boyer tries to find. I think that was Mosquera up ahead of him, but we've given the ball straight back to Quiroz, although this time Mosquera will cut it out, so some good hustle from him off the bench. Cutting him from the right as well. He plays it over to Oscar. He tries to go in the box, but the ball is tackled off him, albeit only momentarily. Bui Trago back to Oloyo. Back to Bui Trago. Boya. Fuentes just knocking it about in our half here. Boya gets Perez on the overlap. Mosquera back to Perez. Puts a ball in for Oscar. Heads it, but Ortiz at Close range is able to collect that, and it remains 7-1 with 10 to go. 2-1 to River Plate over Municipal in the other game. Corner after 85 minutes that we put in. It's messy. The goalkeeper doesn't claim it. And how back out to Gutierrez. Oscar on the volley. Oscar gets a goal. Hopefully that can get him into some form. A couple of assists and now a goal, and it's 8-1. This is an absolute pumping, albeit we suspected that would be the case at halftime. And Hal playing that back nicely to Gutierrez, Oscar, Ortiz. He probably could have put it more to the right of him, but too much power on the shot. He gets a goal, 8-1 with three to go. And we are absolutely pumping these guys. And we will be getting through our Copper Libertadores group top of it. And that is pretty good considering we had to qualify to get into that stage as Mosquera has a shot straight at Ortiz. Not much of a highlight there, but we've only got one minute to go now. And it is an Emelec throw-in that Mario bundles into touch. That will suck up a little bit more time. And with less than a minute to go, we have done the job. And we now will be able to do a bit more rotation and focus on the league up until the... Well, really, we're going to be focusing up on the league till we next play in the Copa Libertadores. Because before then, I suspect we will be in our semi-final group stage before the second round of the Copa Libertadores kicks in. So we'll be getting serious in the league from now on for a little bit. They try and play a ball in behind there. It's gone straight out, and I suspect that's going to be full before the goal kick can take place. And indeed it is 8-1, an absolute thrashing. That is one of the best performances I've seen from our boys. Very few players having bad games. Even the ones who came off the bench really did a decent job in the limited time that they had. Gutierrez with four goals, the obvious standout. Tell them I'm very pleased with that. How can you not be? And we are going through to the second round of the Copa Libertadores. And that is what the board wanted from us. And in the other game, River Plate ended up getting a late goal to make it 3-1. So they are now in the box seat to get out of the group with us. See that goal difference now. 18. That is very impressive. 
And for a team who I thought might be struggling to match it with River Plate, we are thoroughly dominating this group, which is nice to see, albeit after we dropped points early to Municipal. But a wonderful performance to date. And indeed, we have qualified for the second round. That is going to do it for today's episode. Now, in terms of when we're going to be coming back, we don't really need to worry about this municipal game now what i think we're going to have to do and sure you guys want to see this game as well we will come back against our former club kakuta deportivo and depending how i get on that day we might even do the independiente medellin game in a double header but we'll see how we get on there is only eight days between those games but we have got two games in the middle so we've got a full-on schedule in early may and then of course the semi-final group stage is going to start and that will be our focus after that as well but I will definitely guarantee that one of the next games you'll see, at least very first up, is against our former team, Kakuta Deportivo. Let's see if we can get a result against a team that we brought up from the second division last season. But if you enjoyed today's episode, hopefully you did a lot of goals there against Emelec, then please do hit that thumbs up button and also subscribe to the channel and turn that notification bell on if you have not done so already and you have enjoyed the content here today on the channel. But until the next time I see you, when we will be focusing back on the league, enjoy the rest of your day. Cheers.